Kaq, or Kaik al Eid Arabic, Kach or Kk al -Eid, is a small circular biscuit eaten by Egyptians to celebrate Eid al Fitr and Easter. It is covered with powdered sugar and can be stuffed with agamea, jamet, a mixture of honey, nuts, and ghee, locum, walnuts, pistachios, or dates, or simply served plain. Date filled kaq are believed to be the origin of ma'amol, a similar Eid biscuit eaten in the Levant. Kaq is an important part of Egyptian culture. In addition to its role in Eid and Easter, it is also eaten as part of a wedding feast and is occasionally served at other holiday feasts, namely Christmas and Maulid. Baking cock is a traditional and social activity in the region. Women of a village or neighborhood, Christian and Muslim alike, gather together to bake cock, chat, and swap stories and recipes. Sometimes, Egyptians will prepare their cock at home before taking it to a communal or commercial bakery to be baked and cooled. Families typically exchange cock as gifts, and friendly and formal competitions over whose cock is best are common. The designs stamped on cock can be elaborate and are sources of pride for Egyptian families. Cock molds, typically made from wood or ceramic, are often passed down from generation to generation. While bakeries have always sold pre-made cock, buying cock from a bakery has increased in popularity in urban Egypt in recent years. However, store-bought cock is relatively expensive. Reaching 70 guineas $12.69 per kilo in 2009. So many Egyptians, particularly those in rural areas, still bake their own. Etymology <inaudible> The Arabic and English word kak is a Coptic language modification of the Arabic word kaik, kk meaning cake. History Kok is believed to date back to ancient Egypt. Carvings depicting people making kok have been found in the ruins of temples in Memphis and Thebes and in 3,500 year old 18th dynasty tombs. A recipe for kok was also found in the Great Pyramid of Khufu in Giza. Ancient kok were made in a variety of geometric shapes more than 100 designs have been found and stamped with an image of the solar disk, a symbol of the sun god Ra. Ancient Egyptians also baked pie-sized cock, called shariq, before visiting tombs of their ancestors. These shariq were believed to function as magical amulets. Cock remained popular as Egypt converted from traditional religion to Christianity, being served on Easter and occasionally used as the sacramental bread in the Christian Eucharist ritual, albeit with the solar disk replaced with a Christian cross. Kok's Islamic history began with the Tulunid dynasty, whose bakers made kok molds imprinted with the words kol wishukar, eat and say thank you. Though kok rose to prominence under the 10th century Ikshidid dynasty, who were the first to include it in the Eid al-Fitr feast. An Ikshidid minister, Abu Bakr Muhammad bin Ali al-Madrani, was known to hide gold dinars in some kok that were distributed to the people, a practice that entered local folklore and was emulated by later Egyptian rulers. For instance, the Fatimid Caliph spent 20,000 dinars baking and distributing gold-filled cock for Eid in 1124 CE, 518 AH, an operation of such complexity that it had to be started in Rajab, the month preceding Ramadan, and required the creation of a special government department, the Dewan al-Fitr. Likewise, Caliph al-Aziz built a 1350-meter-long table piled high with 60 different kinds of cock and gorabie, some of which contained gold coins. Distribution of cock was an important and effective means of raising public support for the Fatimid government, both as a means of appeasing the public, a la bread and circuses, and as a form of propaganda, since cock was stamped with messages calling for loyalty to the state or specific leaders. Archaeologists have found Fatimid era cock molds inscribed with messages such as, Eat and thank your ruler, Kael Washkar Malulak, and Thank Hafeza. TSLM Adiki Ya Hast, with Hafeza being an official responsible for manufacturing cock. The latter message is also an early example of branding. When the Sunni Ayyubid dynasty replaced the Ismaili Shia Fatimids in 1174, Ayyubid Sultan Salah ad Din attempted to stamp out Fatimid customs, including eating cock on Eid. Despite his great influence on Egyptian culture and politics, he failed to get rid of cock, attesting to the dessert's importance to Egyptians. State distribution of cock was revived under Mameluk rule. 
The Mameluk sultans distributed cock for Eid and Easter, especially to socio economically marginalized groups like Sufis, students, and the poor, though there is no evidence that they hid gold coins in their cock. Like the Fatimids before them, the Mameluks distributed cock to pacify the population and build support for their rule. Distribution of cock to the poor and disadvantaged was continued under Ottoman rule. During the 14th and 15th centuries, charitable trusts Akif were highly associated with baking and distributing cock. During the Islamic period, the Christian cross on cock was replaced with sayings, geometric designs, including the original images of the solar disk, or stylized depictions of foliage. Several Fatimid era cock molds are on display in the Museum of Islamic Art in Cairo as important examples of Islamic art and Arabic calligraphy. Topic. See also. Fig roll. List of cookies. Kataif. <laughs>